Several Temple Terrace City employees claim their bosses use slurs of the workplace and intimidation to silence their complaints. And when someone does complain, we found out it is not being documented by the city. It on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joins us live in studio with details. Walt. An eight on your side public records request uncovered a controversy involving a Temple Terrace City director. But as we look deeper, we discovered she fired back at the city after a complaint against her, claiming other managers don't even get a slap on the wrist for inappropriate behavior. Well, listen, because I'm going to ask this. I don't, don't, don't interrupt me. This is not your meeting. Tension at this recent emergency meeting about a complaint filed by City Finance Director Lynn Boswell. A co-worker claimed Boswell, quote, basically called me, my daughter, and my family Nazis. Boswell later apologized to the employee and then filed a complaint of her own about disparate treatment, claiming she was treated differently than other directors who made inappropriate comments. That city investigation revealed a number of other complaints from city employees. Jimmy Williams claims when he tried to complain about his boss bullying him. A lot of employees are intimidated. And using slurs to reference co-workers and residents, city manager Charles Stevenson told him not to go to human resources. Williams tells me after he was terminated, there was no paper trail of his complaints. They say they don't remember anything and they never had paperwork seeing it we did anything they trash it that's what they normally do they trash documents williams is one of several current and former temple terrace city employees who've contacted us claiming their bosses use intimidation to manage them city manager charles stevenson who's implicated in a florida department of law enforcement investigation involving a sixteen thousand dollar pickleball court contract referred our questions about boswell and other complaints to mayor andy ross Ross tells me the complaints that surfaced during the Boswell case were difficult to verify due to a lack of documentation. If that bullying is still going on, what do you do now? Well, the council needs to decide what we're going to do moving forward and what procedures we're going to put in place to, to make sure that we do have documentation in the future. During one recent meeting, Stevenson said the disgruntled former employees who came forward had been terminated for legitimate reasons. So what happened with that complaint by the director Boswell? It sort of fits the pattern here. It was concluded that her case did not involve disparate treatment because there was no documentation about complaints against other city directors. And again, that's something the city hopes to repair in the near future. All right. Thank you, Walt. Okay. If you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the eight on your side helpline, the number 1-800-338-0808.